Hello and welcome to Urban Chica Doodle. My name is Melissa. This is my dad, Gene. Hello. Hey, so we are at my dad's farm right now. Hey, we are going to be checking out his peacock. Avery. Avery. So we have it on against what? What do you have it built up against? It's a container. Yeah. Somebody left that container here as a storage unit. And I just built it on the side because the wind comes from the west. Mm -hmm. And it mostly blows this way probably 80% of the time. And so this is a backdrop to keep them safe from the wind. It keeps the rain off of them and the snow. Yeah. About what size is it? It's 10 by 30. Mm -hmm. now it's about 12 feet tall too. With about 12 peacocks in here. So it is good size. It's all a chain link fence. Material. Metal sheathing, mm -hmm. galvanized, so I don't have to worry about the rusting. And my dad is an artist, so this is the door he built for it. That's my old chicken coop door. Yeah, it's really detailed. I'll link his YouTube channel if you want to check out more of his art. He is going to feed the peacocks. All right, Dad, you want to tell them about your peacocks? What do you want to know? You ask questions. Oh, okay. When is breeding season and how many eggs Early do they spring. lay? They, uh, a mature female will probably lay about five, six eggs, and maybe two or three might survive. But as they get older, they survive more and more and more. So, probably the oldest ones. <clears throat> if they have like five eggs, they'll probably all survive. And how many peacocks do you have? I think 12. 12 peacocks in here. And then you have different ages? Oh, yeah. The males with the longest tails are the oldest. You can see the younger males over there, they've got the shorter tails. And they're probably about two years old. These guys here are about five, I think. And how, how long does it take to tell whether they're males or females? Well, you can find out in one season. They'll start putting on colors. There's some young ones right there. And you say that one's got more color than the other one. Mm -hmm. Those. So this one here might be a male. Okay. And, and what? Those, those are last, last uh, spring's birds. Actually, they were actually born in the summer. So they're pretty small for right now. When do they start laying eggs? Early spring. Well, what about the age wise? Like when do they start laying? Uh, about a year, probably over a year. And so I see that you have some white ones. Yep, two white ones. And you wanna, oops. <laughs> you wanna talk about how you got some white ones, how they came to well, be? I don't know, they just came from regular peacocks. You don't have to have a white peacock to have white peacocks. It was just regular peacocks and all of a sudden they started popping up. So maybe it's a gene inside? Probably. Here's their white one kind of hiding. Would you say they're pretty skittish or friendly or? Yeah, they're they're a little on the spooky side right now. So I don't get out here that much. <laughs> so you have a setup here to keep their water from freezing, it looks like. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I brought electricity out here, so I got like a place where I can have a de-icer for my water and a light where I can have a light on all night because we got we got critters out here that walk around. Skunks, raccoons, uh, some foxes. You got it really back. You got it really closed up, really nice, so nothing can get in. They can't get out. Mm -hmm. They get a light on. Usually, it deters. What do you feed them? Uh, it's the stuff I get from trees. store called game bird. It's what they feed uh, geese and ducks and stuff. If you have, I, I would imagine probably if you have like uh, pheasants and quail. I used to get that and mix it with wheat 
but it's hard to get wheat right now, so I'm using corn. They really love it. So um, we are probably going to gather some eggs and incubate them. Where, <laughs> where I live, we can sell the eggs for 30... 100 bucks? No. <laughs> 30 to 50 bucks and we can sell the peacocks anywhere from 100 to 150 sometimes more and so this is his aviary where we can sell them so do you want to talk about the building you created for them the aviary well i had all this tin that i got for free and so i had to use it somehow and so I just built a big frame and a lean to because for a long time these guys have been going through winter with snow on their backs. <laughs> and I needed a place to keep the, the uh, females when they're laying eggs and we keep all the chicks in so they wouldn't get killed by <laughs> varmints. Oh, we got feral cats out here too. Oh, okay. And they eat the babies? Oh, If you have a female walking around with uh, three, mm -hmm. you might have one left at the end of the season. In the spring, when they're going through, they're gathering up the little harem, they're really loud. Mating season is like spring? Yeah, yeah, they're going around. And uh, the males tend to fight a lot. So do you have to separate them? I'm not going to this time. I'm gonna see what happens here. <laughs> if you have any left over. Well. <laughs> see what happens if I can get the eggs all laid in the air and, and if they can hatch them in there and keep them alive. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will check out his garden that he made right here in the springtime. Doesn't like my phone. No, she, wants, she wants to be in here.